Ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha. I realize that I've been covering this Alex Maurer situation pretty much exclusively over the past few days, and while a great many of you have expressed your appreciation for my continued coverage of what is very much an ongoing and developing issue, I know some of you are growing weary of it, and for those people I would like to express my thanks for your forbearance as we handle this issue that has been plaguing YouTube and Twitch for quite a while now. Alex Maurer continued her wave of forwarding emails to multiple YouTubers again today, seemingly unabated, some containing additional copies of information she had already sent, others were simply conversation threads, and some contained statements that made me wonder for the thousandth time in the past four days, what is wrong with this person? I won't go into full detail, but suffice to say, I started receiving emails from Maurer at 6.39 this morning. She forwarded an excerpt from what she stated to be a first draft of an email being written by her attorney on March 7th of this year. We're going to skip past this for now and come back to it as she ended up sending the full email later in the day. Later, I was forwarded a letter from Hyper RPG, a popular Twitch channel that had received a 24-hour ban over their coverage of Star Mazer DSP in 2016. The large issue with this is that the 24-hour ban for that channel came at the worst possible moment, in the middle of E3. This caused Hyper RPG a large amount of money and damages due to lost ad revenue and sponsorships. Now, I reached out to Hyper RPG in order to make certain they were aware of what was happening, and Zach responded that they were working with Imagos and Twitch to get the strike removed. However, this raises the concern regarding how many more Twitch streamers have received DMCA strikes on their channels. Unconfirmed reports put the number of Twitch streamers affected at near the same total number of YouTube channels. However, please do bear in mind that those are entirely unconfirmed reports and I have no way that I'm aware of to independently verify the number of channels affected. Also, as the cavalcade of randomness continued, Alex forwarded an email to myself, Total Biscuit, and either Ryan Paul or Paul Ryan, probably not that one, in which she claims she is sending an email to Robert Koo, the former president of Penny Arcade, in which she said the following... Robert, please glance over the following YouTube videos and see if there's anything you can do about getting me in touch with a real actual game journalist. My former business partner started a document leaking war where he released copies of a contract with my signature and redacted social security number. He is using the contract to try to convince people I don't own copyrights on separate projects that are not listed in the contract. It would be really helpful to have someone look at the evidence that I have to leak in response and have them actually understand that this former business partner is a huge liar. Thank you. And of course, the three videos listed were one of mine, Total Biscuits, and one of the videos by I Am Patty Jack. Now, this is a large point of contention for me and is something that Alex Maurer firmly does not understand. First off, this shows very clear indication that Maurer is attempting to make use of these YouTubers that she's already stated and shown through her own actions that she holds absolutely no respect for them whatsoever, like they are her own personal hit squad. This is not how this works at all. Maurer fails to comprehend that even if by some miracle she was actually correct in her assertion that Imagos was screwing her over, it still doesn't matter. Maurer has still blatantly abused the YouTube and Twitch copyright systems in an attempt that she stated herself to force content creators to act on her behalf, using the DMCA system as a stick to whip the little content creator minions that she holds such little regard for into doing her bidding. When I asked Maurer for the second time why she was forwarding me all of this random information, she responded thusly, You're supposed to realize that Imigo Softworks isn't even a registered company which is not legal in the state of Washington. Neither is not sending 1099 forms to contractors. The emails of people who are owed money by Imagos are there for you to verify the story. I was giving you a chance to break a story, idiot. These documents are supposed to speak for themselves, and you were not smart enough to be the first one to figure it out. I worked with Penny Arcade. Yes, that is really Robert Koo, and if anything continues as it has been, he may not help me. I am willing to lose the business contact in this document leaking war. You assume that I have no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to business. Go ahead and lose your opportunity. Don Thacker is a con artist, and you are helping him. In regards to that, Alex Maurer sent the letter from her attorney that I will not read in detail, but it will have it on the screen for you all to read if you would like. Now, firstly, I would like to say that those actions there, while seemingly disjointed, speak to a very poorly constructed attempt to force me directly to connect the dots, to attempt to force me to make me feel like I made some sort of discovery in order to draw some form of personal investment. I've seen the trick before, I've used the trick before, and as such, I'm a little bit less susceptible to such things than some other people might be. 
But once again, I'm going to speak directly to Alex Maurer for a moment. Alex, do you even comprehend on even the slightest level the damage you have wrought? At least one channel has received more than three DMCA strikes already. Despite what you might keep telling yourself, you have weaponized the DMCA system in an attempt to twist YouTubers into doing your bidding. By your actions, you have very nearly turned this into an all-out war. Alex Maurer versus YouTube content creators. Do you honestly think that any content creator will be interested in providing you a platform from which to continue your assault? Do you really think that any of those content creators would even care if you were getting scammed at this point in time? No, most certainly not. You've poisoned anyone and everyone against you in this misguided attempt at seeking... what? Revenge? Recompense? Justification? Honestly, I don't even know at this point in time what it is you actually want. You can't even seem to get your own facts right. The claim that Imigos is breaking Washington state law by not licensing their business, which would be a violation, I know this for a fact as my day job is in Washington state and I do have to keep up on those things, except you are so blinded by whatever this is that you are doing that you are incapable of even finding such a basic piece of information that I located by googling for, yes, I timed it, 37 seconds. There is their business license. And if you are so vehemently attached to these, quote, facts that you can so easily be proven to be patently false, what else are you wrong about as well, I wonder? Amaur went on after forwarding something that I will absolutely talk about at the end of this video because some people apparently didn't get it through their skulls the first time, and included the following statement. I reported this to Kotaku, Hardcore Gamer, Destructoid, and IGN. You nobodies literally are the only ones who care about Star Mazer DSP or ImageOS Softworks. You also don't realize that there is a way to see if Imago Softworks is a registered business. So, as you can see, Maurer still seems to think that the story and the narrative is about her feeling she has gotten screwed over by Imago Softworks and her continued disparaging comments against YouTubers stands very much at odds with her apparently thinking that I was going to, quote, break her story for her and come to her rescue as she has issued over 70 DMCA strikes to YouTubers alone. As a continuing development, there is motion on the legal front as well, Leonard French, my favorite copyright attorney, has confirmed that he will be representing Imagos Films LLC in the copyright dispute against Alex Maurer. I wish them well for all of our sakes. In addition, it has been reported that some of these YouTube DMCA strikes have been getting counterclaimed on their own without the YouTubers being involved. I take this as a motion that YouTube Gaming on the back end, probably in conjunction or aid at the direction of Total Biscuit and Imago Softworks, hopefully they're working towards resolving these DMCA strikes. I will keep a very close eye open to make sure that there is progress on that front. Finally, I apparently need to address this again, as like I said before, some people apparently didn't get it through their thick skulls. Stop harassing people. Every single time a person sends a threatening email, posts a video like the one I was shown, or sends her an angry message on Steam even, all you were doing is hurting the YouTubers who have been affected by Maurer's actions and making an already bad situation worse. I mean, seriously, what do any of you get out of sending emails stating that you wished a person would die, or that she would get raped, or any other such nonsense? Does it make you feel better? Does it make you feel powerful, attacking a person you know there is no possible way for them to strike back at you? People that commit such actions make me feel absolutely ashamed that some of them might be associated with my channel in any way. It makes me feel embarrassed, and it makes me angry that people who think they identify with me or my content in any way would be capable of such a thing. And in return, Maurer most certainly chooses the nearest target and blames them for receiving death threats. Well, I would like to say congratulations to all of you that stooped so low. You have taken the moral high ground that these small channels had and are repeatedly beating it over the head with a rock. If you don't stop, there will be nothing left. So, please, just stop. You are not helping. You are not making it better. You are not going to force Maurer into releasing her DMCAs. If anything, all you have done is strengthen her resolve, misguided as it is, to see this through to the bitter end. And as I was finishing this recording, I had to stop yet again as Alex Maurer is apparently going through a bit of a meltdown on the Steam forums at this very moment. She is lashing out at those issuing threats against her life and the YouTubers she blames for their actions. Maurer attempted to delete her comments, but Teminoko was quick enough to archive them before that could happen. In it, she has stated the following, I reached out to TB and that motherfucker didn't give two shits about me, so fuck you Annabella. I am getting death threats and now Leonard French is representing Imigos. I was trying to hire Leonard and he decided to politically choose a client to further his own cause. 
the world is a shit place, I'm guessing that is, where you can work insanely hard for your dream and someone can steal it from you. Then when you call them out on it, they still win anyway, so fuck you, Annabella. She continues on with, Fucking playing video games is not a job. If there was a way to DMCA punch you in the face through my computer screen, I would. You and your fucking friends do not have the right to post videos with my music. The DMCA system exists so I can say no when the creepy fucking people like you are trying to f I'm not sure what that is supposed to say. Her music. Fuck you. What makes anyone think I wanted sympathy or goodwill? I just expect for former clients to not disclose copies of paperwork containing my contact info, redacted social security number, and signature. For all I know, you creepy fucking scumbags might photoshop my signature from the document into other things to sign me up for shit like credit cards or god knows what the fuck. Go ahead, I dare you fucking do that and see how long Don Thacker remains out of jail. Oh, and if you could all stop threatening my life, that would be good. For all I know, someone is going to be standing outside of my house waiting for me and actually do one of the things they're saying, like hoping I die an excruciatingly painful death, etc. I may as well go buy a gun for protection. Let's see your doxing fucking faces meet me outside of my house with that shit now. I guess that's part of the job description for a YouTuber now. Death threats and meeting people outside their doxed fucking houses. So as you can see, the death threats are taking their toll. Please, if any of you that are doing this are doing so out of some misguided desire to protect YouTubers, then just stop. If you're doing it for some other reason, then stop anyways. You are only hurting those YouTubers and their case at this point. Although I do have to say, the irony of Alex Maurer stating that the world is a shitty place where you can work insanely hard for your dream and someone can steal it away from you is not lost on me. Yes, yes Alex, it most certainly is a shitty place. It's almost like a YouTuber receiving a multiple DMCA strike that threatens to destroy their dreams from a person who did so because they had a chip on their shoulder, an axe to grind in their hands, and a desire to turn those YouTubers' broken channels into spear tips to hurl at Imago Softworks. That is very much what Alex Maurer has attempted to do to these YouTubers. But even still, no one deserves death and rape threats, so just stop it. Most of you are adults. Time to grow up and act like it. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha, and I'll see you next time.